This video is going to talk about sample rate settings for PicoScope 7. First we're going to look at PicoScope 6 and then I will be able to show you the differences with PicoScope 7. So at AutoNerds, a good starting point that we recommend for our clients is a 500 milliseconds per division time base and a requested samples of 6 million samples. This gives us uh, the capability under testing uh, like under cranking you get several engine revolutions on the screen uh, and then plenty of definition so you can zoom in on a higher frequency signal. You'll notice that in PicoScope 6 with the properties open over here on the right there is a sample interval so that is the space between sample points. In this case these settings equate to a 840 nanosecond interval between samples and that is very, very fast. It is good enough to do secondary ignition testing with. Um, it is not fast enough to do CAN work with. Um, our sample rate, uh, keep in mind, we requested 6 million samples per channel per screen. Uh, and that equates to a 1.19 million samples per second. Uh, we are collecting almost our six million samples per screen. We have five seconds on the screen. One of the things that uh, PicoScope 6 does is that as you adjust your time base, you'll notice that your sample rate changes. Our requested number of samples didn't change, but our sample rate and our total samples, I'm sorry, our sample rate and our sample interval changed. You had to be careful because at longer time bases, you may need to increase your samples requested in order to get samples close enough together to accurately redraw the signal you are testing. So having said this, let's jump over to Pico 7. PicoScope 7 has very much the exact same setup, uh, only they give us one new option. Um, buffer memory uh, is what I'm, I'm referring to as PicoScope 6 mode. Um, we can ask for a total number of samples per screen per channel and this is the signal we get and if you look up here at the top we are recording 5.95 million samples and our rate just like in Pico 6 was 1.19 million samples per second. Um, a new feature with PicoScope 7 is giving us the option to to set a sample rate uh, that does not change as we adjust our time base. So by going to sample rate and setting a target sample rate of, in this case, 1 million samples per second, our sample rate up here will stay the same as we increase our time divisions, which means that we no longer have to worry about matching our sample rate to our time base. We can. You, you know, we can set it and um, I don't want to say forget it but we can set it and not have to worry about it as much. Um, you'll notice here there is this progressive mode. Um, this was referred to in PicoScope 6 as the transition point between uh, block mode and streaming mode. Um, we are in progressive mode right now because our time base is greater than 200 milliseconds per division. And this illustration is what progressive mode means. It draws on the screen as the sample is being taken. If we were to reduce our time base to below that transition point, you'll notice that the scope captures the whole waveform and then it dumps on the screen all at one time. At long time bases, this can be beneficial because it can actually increase the available sample rate of the scope, um, but that more detail on that is uh, in another video. So, like I said, we recommend uh, either if you have ref if you run on buffer memory, we're recommending a requested num number of samples about six million. But keep in mind that your sample rate will change as you change your time divisions. If you choose sample rate and set one or two million samples per second, your sample rate will stay the same as you change your time bases.
So I hope that's helpful for you guys.